Would you believe this entire character took me just two minutes to make? What if I told you there's a free online tool that lets you build custom pixel art characters and export them straight into your game? No drawing skills or software installs required. In this video, I'll show you how to create your own characters using the Universal LPC Character Generator. It's open source, super powerful, and I'll even show you how to save them as sprite sheets ready for your pixel art game. By the end, you'll have your own animated pixel heroes and enemies ready to drop right into your game project. We'll go from blank canvas to battle ready in just a few clicks. And I'll show you a sneaky trick to make your character stand out even more. Let's jump straight in. I'll google the name of the tool, click the first link you see here and show you how quick and easy it is to create a fully animated, completely unique pixel art character from scratch. We start with a blank slate character like this. I can click the animated preview or the sprite sheet area here to make it larger or smaller so that we clearly see the character we are building. Up here we have a set of animations. For my tower defense game I will simply need only the walk animation but there are many more. We can choose from multiple different body types. I usually choose male, female or muscular. For my games I will need a shadow under the character's feet. As you can see, the shadow only works for the basic animations, which is fine for my needs. But if you want more advanced animations like climbing or running, you should be aware of this. The shadow will not render for these. You can use these filters up here to filter only body parts that support specific animations you need. There are so many options and ways to modify our character. Here in the body section, under special, I can give it a skeleton body like this. Maybe we also want a skeleton head. So under this menu, we select skeleton head. As I scroll down, the basic animations are supported and the skeleton body is not available for the advanced animations. We can also have a headless skeleton like this. I can click reset all here and collapse all here. And we can take our character in a completely different direction. Notice the URL here. If I go under body and wings, feathered wings, for example, and choose one of the colors, notice how the modifications are showing as part of the URL. This makes it easy to share your created characters with others. The only problem here is that when I select no wings, I would prefer that part about wings to be completely removed from the URL, but it will show wings equals none instead. So if I keep going back and forth, adding and removing features from my character, I might end up with a bloated string that doesn't add up too much. If I remove this entire part, the character will still look the same. So that part saying wings equals none was completely redundant. We have many kinds of wings up here. Also tails and other fun body parts. You can create all kinds of creatures here. Under heads, I can choose, for example, boar man. Notice that the color of the head will automatically change the color of the body as well. So the whole character matches. We can also have a bipedal pig and apparently also a sheep. For some reason this looks like a lion to me. We have zombie, vampire, Frankenstein. You can make an awesome Halloween game here if you want. Maybe I want to create a few different orc enemies. I select orc male head here. You can also try orc female or goblin here instead if you want. Up here under wings, I can try and give it bat wings. Maybe it's an orc vampire. Lizard wings are a bit smaller. Monarch butterfly wings will look like this. Now we have a fairy orc. Notice how the URL shows the orc head and wings I selected. So I can share my character with others by giving them this link. We can also give it clothes, weapons and even armor. Let's give it a full set of steel armor. Under arms, armor, I choose steel. Under torso, armor, plate, I also choose steel. Legs, armor, steel here and feet armor steel to finish the set. This is probably a very heavy orc. I'm not sure if it can fly dressed like this. Down here on the weapons, I can give it a shield, maybe a crusader shield like this, but we always have to check our preview. Now I see that the shield and wings are clipping. They are not compatible when used together, so I can choose one or the other. I go up here and remove the wings. This is my crusader orc. It's ready to be used for my game. 
The important part is down here. We must credit all authors. This section changes based on what body parts we used. You can use these sprite sheets for your projects, but always make sure you credit everyone involved. To download my sprite sheet, I simply right click and select Save Image As. I'll call it Crusader Org and download it as a PNG file. If you want, you can share your own characters with us by leaving this URL in the comments down below. The automated anti-spam system in the comments might filter out full URLs, so the best way to share is to put only this second part in the comment. We can always add the first part ourselves to see your character. I can't wait to see all the creatures you come up with. If you want to see how exactly to use these sprite sheets in a full game, check out my other classes. Click the like if you found some value.